In the Philippines, deaths by snakes per year have been estimated to be around 250. Poisonous snakes in the Philippines fall into four categories. The first one is the various cobra species, which includes the largest venomous snake, which is the king cobra, and is easily identifiable by its intimidating hood. For the second category, we have the pit vipers. They are brightly colored snakes that dwell in trees. For the third one, we have the coral snakes, of which several species are found in the Philippines and are identifiable by their multicolor bands or stripes. And the last one, we have the sea snakes that dwell among mangroves, rivers, lakes, and streams. So what are the things you need to do if someone gets bitten by a snake? First, make sure the scene is safe. Dial 911 or call local emergency medical services. If possible, make note of the color, shape, and size of the snake. This may help with the treatment of the bite. Venomous snakes usually have a colorful pattern, a broad triangular head, a skinnier neck than non-venomous snakes, elliptical pupils, additional peats behind nostril peats, a pointed nose or snout, fangs which leave a double puncture bite mark, and a blunted tail end. Then, reassure the person and encourage them to remain calm. Check for breathing and remove any jewelry, watches, or tight clothing, as this could impede blood flow if swelling occurs. Apply a constriction band to the affected limb. This may be an elastic bandage or penrose drain, thick rope, or piece of clothing wrapped circumferentially above the bite and applied with enough tension to restrict superficial venous and lymphatic flow while maintaining distal pulses and capillary filling. It should be easy to insert one or two fingers under the band. Tension to a constriction band, a pressure immobilization bandage, is a compression pad placed over the bite site combined with a snug elastic bandage wrap and extremity immobilization. This technique is generally discouraged for coralline bites because it may increase pain at the site. While waiting for help to arrive, closely monitor airway and breathing, and be ready to resuscitate if necessary. Remember that first aid measures should never substitute for definitive medical care or delay the administration of antivenom. Take all patients bitten by a snake to a healthcare facility. What are the things we should not do during a snake bite injury? Do not panic because movement will increase venom absorption. Do not try to catch or kill the snake, but try to remember its shape and color. Do not apply tourniquets. Unlike compression bands, tourniquets are very tight. As a result, it obstructs arterial flow and causes ischemia. Do not try to suck out the venom. Do not put ice packs on the bite marks or immerse wound in ice water. Ice water immersion worsens the venom injury. Do not elevate the wound at the same level or higher than the chest or heart area. Do not puncture, pinch, scrape, or incise the bite marks. Any method of incision can injure nerves, arteries, and tendons. Lastly, do not give any medications that is not prescribed by a doctor.